Alright, welcome to Laptop Powerwall episode 62, Zen Rail Mount for the small blocks. Uh, I showed these previously, the, these are the 3D printed battery holders that I have um, designed and you can download them from thingiverse.com and those together go to make a nice 24 cell group which you could solder in um, parallel and then put seven of those in series to make a 24 volt one kilowatt hour pack um, and they work quite nice they're very firm it's a nice handheld size thing uh, but my design does not provide any way of mounting or attaching this to anything um, and so one of my subscribers, who likes to play with 3D printers as well, um, took my design and added some flanges so that you can bolt them onto some metal beams. And he showed me a photo of what he'd done. And um, when I saw it, I, th I, I thought, oh, he's um, bolted those onto some din rail which is what this stuff is. Um, turns out he hadn't, he'd used something else. But um, in my head I thought din rail and then I thought, oh, I should design something that actually uses din rail. And so here I have this simple little thing which you can slide on to the din rail. So if you imagine getting seven of those and running them along and once you've got that you get your cell you fit it in there and hey presto one pack mounted to the din rail which would normally be attached to um, the wall uh, wherever you happen to want it uh, and then of course you can do multiple levels above and below and so on um, but that's basically it really, it um, comes out really nicely, it fits into a little flange, there's flanges here to hold that um, part of the, of the battery holder. It clips in with a very satisfying click thud, um, it is pretty solid, a little bit of just the right amount of flex there. Yeah. Hey presto, and it's, it's really solid. Um, I can throw that around and it's not going anywhere. It doesn't wobble, uh, it doesn't twist. Um, it's, it's a nice solid setup. Um, listen to that, isn't that satisfying? That sounds like a solid thing. Uh, so, um, I will put links to the Thingiverse um, version of this so you can download it and print it yourself if you have a 3D printer uh, and I'll also put links to the original Tinkercad um, page so that you can copy it and fiddle with the design optimise it, tweak it, do whatever you like with it um, but uh, there it goes. It's a nice way of mounting those blocks. A very nice way. Um, there you are. Hope that's useful to some of you. I'll catch you next time. Cheers.